Everybody can be saved, but you can read. That's why in Hebrews he says, harden not your hearts. Today is the day of salvation. What did he say? Harden not your hearts as in the day of provocation. Remember when he says they hardened their heart? They hardened their heart and finally God said, no more. Enough. And I don't know, you think about like foreign nations. Think about these places that don't have a Baptist church on every corner. You know, what a blessing to be able to be on vacation and just randomly pick a Baptist church. You know, and you can do that just about any state. You know, there are areas in the United States that are deprived. I'm not sure what Maryland looks like. Um, you know, but there's areas, there's not as many. But there are Baptist churches everywhere. Imagine being in a country where Baptist is very rare. And think about where the chances of someone actually hearing the plan of salvation clearly, very slim, slim to none. You know, even here in the United States, the chances of a Baptist knocking on your door are very slim. Is most likely a who? Right. How, I mean, if we were to ask you to raise a hand, how many have had a JW knock on their door? Every hand would go up. My hand would go up. Ask the same group of people. How many have had a Baptist, not counting us now, had a Baptist knock on your door? Very, very few hands, if any. And think about these. These people in a country that don't have the opportunity that Americans have, and yet the Bible says they're even without excuse. They're without excuse. The Bible says he's lit every person. How many more chances does an American need before God has given them their opportunity? I mean, radio, television, internet, church people knocking on the door, soul winners, tracks, Bibles, Dollar Tree sells Bibles. And you're going to sit there and say, God's not fair because he gave them 15 chances. And then when he sends them to hell and they stand before him, we, oh, well, God's not very fair if he's going to send someone like that. They've had chance after chance after chance, and they still reject it. No, the Bible says when that di judgment day comes, every mouth will be stopped. Nobody's going to look at that judge, uh, at God sitting on the throne, and say, you've judged, mis you've, you've judged poorly. You've made a bad decision. The Bible says they'll all be without excuse. So you know what that means? How do we, how do we conclude this out? Well, let's conclude this. Let's tell the entire world the gospel. Let's knock on every door in Orlando. Let's knock on every door in our communities. Let's go out and preach the gospel because it's the foolishness of the gospel that God chose to reach the world from faith to faith. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father.